medical technology doesn't get much louder or more sophisticated. Are you doing okay in there? Fine. I'm glad you're there. And it's going to scan my hand so that I can compare the results with one of Leonardo's anatomical sketches that he made in the winter of 1510. Okay, well done there. So uh, that's all finished. I've survived. You have indeed. Well, I got through that. Um, I've still got a little bit of tingling, pins and needles in my, my left arm, my hand. It is bizarre in there. It's like being in a futuristic Stanley Kubrick style film set nightclub and you're bombarded by this relentless techno. Um, I kind of went into another place, another zone, but I'm glad it's done, I'm relieved, and I think it's time to get it out of my smock and my gown. So talk me through what we're seeing here because even though we've got all of this 21st century technology, these are still mm. quite complicated images. Mm -hmm. Can you talk me through what we're looking at? Absolutely. These straight lines here are the muscles coming up. The white areas here are the blood vessels. And over here, so we've got the bones over here, which are dark on this picture. I brought along a reproduction of um, one of the most famous anatomical sheets by Leonardo of all. This was done probably in the winter of 1510. Wow. And it's actually startling looking at it it's compared to these images. Looks absolutely accurate. Here are all of these tendons radiating up, up towards the fingers from the wrist. And there we can see them, a sort of bundle there. It's amazing how accurate he was able to draw it. You can see all the different bones that he's got. He's, he's done it absolutely correct. Because this is just a knot of complexity, isn't it? Yeah, so these are all the bones in the wrist which give us all of the movement and things that we were able to do with our wrist. It's interesting looking at this because it almost seems like an aerial shot of parched earth or something. <laughs> but the thing that's brilliant about these drawings is that he manages to take something that is clearly so complicated mm. and make it lucid and clear in a sheet done 500 years ago.